any rational expression you have is a is an expression that has x's in it, right? Now we can take it and we can turn it into a function, which means, remember, a function takes input values of x and then it calculates the output value, which is this calculation here, and then out pops the output value. So if you put input values of x in, you get output values, what we call f of x values out, and then that forms a pair of, of, of numbers that we can plot on a graph. So I can literally say x is equal to zero, calculate what the corresponding f of x value is. I can say x is equal to one, calculate the corresponding uh, f of one value, f of x, f of one value for the, for the input value of one. Two, three, four, negative five, negative six, I can calculate lots and lots of points and, and just plot them. It's exactly the same thing that we've been doing all along, just that these equations are a little more complicated because they're rational equations, rational functions, which means they can be written as a fraction like this. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.